I wanted to come to Bonneville since the early 70s when I saw a, a film on it and uh, I turned 50 a few years ago and it was kind of like a reality check and I thought there's all these things I wanted to do and I haven't done yet and um, Bonneville was one of them so I said to my wife let's do it but the feeling itself is immense for me um, Bonneville is like the mecca of speed and uh, it's almost like a you know it's almost hard to keep the tears back when you're lined up it's it's just the amount of history that emanates out of here and we had a New Zealander Bert Munro who came out here and uh, did a lot of the early days and I guess many of us who come to Bonneville from New Zealand have followed in, in, in his footsteps I got back into drag racing just to practice and then uh, you know I actually did quite well in drag race in New Zealand. We actually uh, hold four national records. But that was a good kind of um, introduction back to speed. I used to race years ago and we got the Kawasaki ZX14 and uh, decided to bring it over here. I had a freight sponsor come on board, Go Logistics, and he was fantastic. He paid for the bike to come over. So that was one of the hardest parts gone. Oh, well, last year was our introduction to Bonneville. We, um, it was a big learning curve for us. We came over and we, we bought the ZX14 over and we put nitrous oxide on it to make it go a little bit faster and we ended up running a modified partial streamline. And um, with that we, uh, we learnt a lot as we went. The uh, course was very moist and damp and uh, um, we found we were picking up a lot of salt and it was very slippery. But we progressed well and uh, we're getting closer to our, our goal. But then on day five, um, the, the track was roughed up quite badly by cars spinning out and putting ruts in there and on a motorcycle hitting those at high speed is quite horrendous. So uh, most of the bikes were running very close to the edge of the line and so I elected to run probably about two yards off the edge of the track. And I ran down there and just before the five mile marker I think I hit, hit something and I believe it was a, somebody's tear off visor and it was enough at that sort of speed to cause the back end of the bike to slide out probably a couple of feet. I managed to control it but it actually put me off the track and uh, immediately off the track was the uh, timing tower at the five mile mark and I crashed through that and uh, smashed the fairing of the bike, smashed the windscreen and I was determined to hold on to the bike so uh, just I kept struggling and uh, while I was fighting to hold on to the bike I thought I've got it and I kind of took a deep breath and looked up and the next timing marker was in front of me and I crashed through that as well so we learned a lot. Um, fortunately I, I stayed on the bike, I, was managed, I managed to ride it through but crashing at 180 odd miles an hour was very very exciting you know uh, even for a Kiwi who do a lot of crazy things so that really ended our racing last year which was rather sad because we hadn't got to the to where we were actually hoping to be I was okay though it was the main thing and the bike was with the new uh, new new fairings and windscreens was fine and all set to race so we got it back to New Zealand respected and went drag racing again and uh, broke another few national records a lot of little things we picked up on is just as far as preparation from last year is just spraying um, uh, oils and uh, protectants in a lot of places, that's the worst thing is the salt and the corrosion getting into electrical contacts and we did quite a bit of electrical damage to some of my race components last year in the category we were running. But um, we, uh, tyre selection is very important, making sure you've got the right tyres. Um, this year we've come out with two sets of tyres, uh, two different combinations just to, to try and see how it goes. Um, you know, once again it's also um, mastering what tyre pressures are the most important. Uh, we've actually reconfigured the bike this year uh, from with no nitrous at all, it's uh, gone back to a production class. Uh, we wanted to see what we could really push out of the bike as a, 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 in a stock category and um, the target at the moment is 197 miles an hour as a stock bike so uh, it's, it's a challenge um, especially I'm a slightly larger person, I'm not a lightweight jockey by any means but yeah, hey, uh, I'm having fun, so yeah, and uh, we'll give it our best shot.